like to support our YouTube channel at no additional cost to yourself, simply change your Amazon bookmark to one with our affiliate code or use our affiliate code next time you go to make an Amazon purchase. Link to the affiliate code will be in the description below, along with a link to a video explaining more about the process. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Paul here from the Paul Dice Tech channel and today we are back in the back seat or trunk of my car and we're back here with the subwoofers. We're making another subwoofer video. First one where I kind of reviewed them and talked about them and gave you guys a test. That one went pretty well. Um, the audio at the end was messed up because I, I had to do like the YouTube um, thing where I got rid of the copyrighted sound because I was playing a song that was like one of the most popular songs back in like the early 2000s. So it's like, yeah, I knew it was going to get copywritten. But anyway, so we're back here today. I got a nice little package from JL here. So in this package is what's going to be called subwoofer grills and they're like little mesh covers that kind of you know protect the actual subwoofer because for those of you who don't know you know if you have stuff bouncing here this little kind of rubbery silicone stretch part that is actually what's able to let the thing move it'll tear if it gets anything up against it really and I have my golf bag that I want to you know still use my trunk for so that's why we got ourselves the SGU-12 mesh, steel mesh grill insert covers. And now these fit a wide range, including mine, obviously. It fits, I'll read them off to you here. It fits most of the W series of the 12 inch variety. Obviously they're 12 inch grills. The SGU-12 is fitting the 12WX, the 12WX V2, the 12W0 V2, which is one, the one before what I have, 12W0 V3, which are these things, the 12W1 V3, and the 12W3 V3. So we're going to just kind of unbox these for you guys live right here. And I'm going to show you how they go on in case some of you guys are a little questioning of how they go on. I've upgraded the unboxing knife at the moment. This is a Swiss Army knife. This actually cost me a pretty penny back in the day. All right, let's see what these bad boys look like. Some packing material. All right, here we are. There's our mesh grills. And I also ordered a little decal from them. Figured I'd put that on my back windshield or something. All right, and that's everything that came in the box. Got rid of the box there. So here they are. They're just kind of black mesh grills. And as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see from there or not, but these are the ones that they fit here as I just you know, listed off to you. And so, yeah, they say don't use these with any subwoofers not listed here because, you know, it doesn't really cover their guarantee and everything. But anyway, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, chop these open. Well, that was very bad. Bad Paul. Maybe the Swift Army knife is not an upgrade, rather a downgrade. All right. All right, there's the first one. They're actually kind of heavy, which is good because that means, you know, they're a little better quality if they're heavy. This is not the most technical unboxing that I've ever done. All right, so we got both of them. And just to give you a reference to what they're going to look like when they go on, they're just going to kind of look like that. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, switch camera angle, and I'll show you guys how exactly these go on. All right, guys, so here we are looking directly at the subwoofers. We have our two mesh grill covers, and they're really actually incredibly simple to install. That You don't even need screws. You literally just pop them right in like this. All right, so that one's in. You just kind of have to start it off at the right angle and try and push it in 
all at the same time, but obviously that's a lot easier than it sounds. The trick is just line it up and push it in. All right, guys, that one's a little off. I'll have to readjust this. In fact, actually, I'm going to readjust it now. It's best, I just found, if you push in the middle as you're installing. But see, this is what they look like. I actually think it looks kind of dope the way they're installed. I really think it, it you know, I, I was worried that it would take away from the aesthetic, pleasing nature of the subwoofers that I got. But honestly, I, I'm happy with them. They're pretty solid, you know what I mean? They flex just to let the subwoofers, you know, still pound. But now I'll be able to put stuff in my trunk again, guys. So, uh, yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, I still have that car review video to do. And I have a few other things lined up, guys. Stay tuned for more stuff. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I think we're almost up to 160 subscribers, which is great, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Get fresh off the grill, get fresh off the grill Got a bounce in the hopper, nigga, you can't stop me